Mayor Rossi says she is pleased with the results, but Cohen's campaign says they have a number of questions concerning the legitimacy of absentee ballots. Incumbent Democrat Mayor Nancy Rossi beating her Republican challenger, Barry Lee Cohen. I feel pleased that it shows the voters that other than a minimal change, the voting was correct, the reporting was correct, and I think that that's very, very important. Originally, 29 votes separated the two after the election, but with such a slim margin, the recounting of ballots began Sunday morning, lasting until the final tally was announced just before 6 p.m. Rossi with 4,275 votes and Cohen with 4,243. What I said from the beginning still stands, that we want to make sure that every ballot was counted appropriately. But Cohen's camp is raising questions about the integrity of the absentee ballots. That envelope was not sealed in accordance with the law. What they used was the standard manila envelope with the metal clasp. And there was no tape secure, securing that closed. So we don't know if someone opened up that envelope and put put new uh, ballots in or new envelopes in. We just don't know the answer. Head moderator George Shambrelli says there's no question the absentee ballots were not tampered with. This election season shrouded in scandal. Now two arrests have been made related to finances in West Haven. Former state representative Michael DeMassa, who represented West Haven, was arrested last month, accused of stealing more than $600,000 in COVID-19 relief funds. And city employee John Bernardo was arrested on wire fraud charges last week. Cohen is asking Rossi to step aside. I have no reason to resign. I have not done anything incorrectly or wrong. And as you can see, that has so far played out. Cohen's attorney says the team plans to conduct their own inspection of the ballots within 48 hours. And from there, they'll decide whether to pursue legal challenges. In West Haven, Alicia Machado, Fox 61 News.